You've probably heard the recent news that almost 50% of us in the UK will get cancer. It's an upsetting thing to contemplate. But modern medicine is supposed to be superhuman. It can fight massive brain injuries, birth deformities and restart hearts. So why is cancer so impenetrable? What is it? How does it occur? Why, when we think we've dealt with it, does it keep reoccurring? And what are our amazing doctors and researchers doing about it? Okay, so cancer is simply the uncontrolled growth of your own body's cells. It's not something alien, but that's what makes it so hard to beat. Our own body's cells are disobeying orders. In cancer cells, the DNA, the cell's instructions, has been damaged. And worst of all, our own immune systems usually can't detect the invasion because the harmful cells have the same features as our own body's cells. Damage to our DNA happens a lot. It could be tiny copying errors in replication, being hit by UV, or tobacco causing mutations. But these errors are mostly in areas where it doesn't make much of a difference. DNA works like an instruction manual, telling the body which proteins to put in a chain to make the body's tissues. A lot of the time, if one letter is wrong, the body can still put the right protein into the sequence. But sometimes, one changed letter makes a lot of difference. And the body puts a protein in the sequence, which will mean the bigger tissue, such as the energy engine of the cell or its reproduction mechanism, doesn't do its job properly. In cancer, the area where the changes occur is in the gene, or the page of the instruction manual, that causes a cell to die when it's too old and faulty. So, you get loads of cells not doing what they're supposed to do. They won't die, they just keep making copies and copies of themselves. Those lumps of extra tissue become a tumour when a blood supply has grown into them. They're taking up blood, excreting waste and taking up the space of cells we actually need. It's as though the body is carrying around a lot of extra weight, but unlike fat, this weight can draw energy and oxygen from where it's actually needed and grow in places where we need working cells. The lump itself won't be painful as it will just be a mass of cells with no pain receptors in it, but it will stealthily suck more and more energy. The cancer becomes particularly dangerous and incurable when it grows close enough to a big enough blood vessel. If a cell breaks off into the bloodstream and travels to somewhere else, it will then be able to create another tumour which will be almost impossible to trace. The key way of fighting back is to help the immune system cells to recognise these misbehaving cells as early as possible. Sometimes the DNA change is caused by a virus, such as HPV. If you inject a dormant version of the virus into the body, that can help the immune system recognise that virus earlier if it then encounters a live version of it in the future. One fifth of all cancers are caused by a chronic infection, and some cancer specialists think that up to 95% of cancers could be caused by viruses, but that doesn't mean that you can catch cancer from your neighbour, although sexual and genetic transmission of some viruses is definitely possible, along with lots of other ways too. Vaccines are also being trialled for other cancers caused by viruses, but there are other ways of priming the immune system too, including exercise, which puts your immune system cells on more frequent patrols of the body. Once the tumour has appeared, it needs to be physically removed. Many traditional treatments physically remove the tumour with tools, from scalpels to radiation beams, or create hostile environments for their cell growth in processes such as chemotherapy, which isn't great because it creates that hostile environment on the rest of the body too. The problem is that without being able to distinguish between cancer cells and healthy cells, we can either overcrop and leave the patient weak, or undercrop and leave some cancer cells which are then able to travel around the body and that's why cancer can return. Thankfully though, there have recently been some massive breakthroughs in tracking down those pesky cells. Cancerous tissue actually vibrates slightly differently to normal tissues in a magnetic field. So there's this biomagnetic machine that was invented in 2009 and it can create a 3D map of a tissue showing cancerous and non-cancerous tissues. The only problem is that every machine costs about a million pounds and currently they're only big enough to fit in a piece of tissue, not a whole body. But, and this is really exciting, these are genuine superhero goggles. They were invented by Dr. Samuel Archie Leifu and they can be worn by a surgeon to see where stained cancerous cells are while they're operating. That, to me, is more awesome than Superman. Before vaccination, viruses like smallpox or polio would often lead to death. Before antiseptics, common infectious diseases meant that anything from a cut finger to giving birth could often lead to death. 